بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان اور پریویس لیکچر وی ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا منیمم ویلیو اف دا سیکنڈ ایگریو انڈیکس فار ٹریز ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر 7 بی وی ویل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا میکسیمم ویلیو فار دا سیکنڈ ایگریو انڈیکس فار دا سیم کلاس اف ٹریز آن دس اسکرین یو کین سی مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر محمد کامن جمیل اینڈ ہی از مائی ای میل ایڈریس از گیون اف سم ون ہیز سم کیوریز Uh, he or she can discuss by sending uh, me an email. Uh, this is uh, the content or our outline of our today's lecture, Maximum Second Executive Index for trees. Okay, so this is uh, the theorem which uh, we are going to prove and we will uh, see or we will Uh, discuss the technique how we will uh, find extremal values for uh, we can suppose any kind of uh, topological indexes, indices so the statement of the theorem is that let n be the set of all trees on n vertices then the star graph maximizes the second degree index among the set of trees of order n and uh, this maximum value is n minus 1 whole square uh, one can watch that the uh, one can notice that the second degree index of a star for a star graph on n vertices is, is equal to n minus 1 whole square how uh, if we uh, uh, if uh, we notice that there are n minus 1 edges because it is a tree so there is a n minus 1 edges on n vertices n Uh, by applying the definition of the second degree index one end of each edge is uh, uh, with degree n uh, minus 1 and the other end is pendant with degree 1 so if we uh, solve this we will get this expression so the star graph gives the maximum second degree index and we are going to prove this let t be a tree but not a star because if t is a star we have nothing to prove so t is a tree uh, and it is not a star Uh, t we are tree with maximum sec second degree index and v1 v2 and v3 are vertices of t such that v1 v2 and v2 v3 are edges of t now we suppose that the degree of v1 is i and the degree of v2 is j degree of v3 is equal q uh, where i and q is greater or equal to 2 these are some Uh, supposition i mean i j and q are numbers which are representing the degrees of vertices v, uh, v1 v2 and v3 and now we suppose that the neighborhood uh, uh, set of vertex v3 other than v2 is w1 w2 up to w q minus 1 because the uh, uh, degree of uh, w th so the degree of v3 is q so the neighborhood set con will contain q minus 1 vertices excluding the vertex v2 so this is the neighborhood uh, set of v3 excluding v2 now uh, now what we will do that we remove these vertices w1 w2 and wq minus 1 from the vertex v3 we are moving these vertices and uh, we are uh, joining these vertices to the vertex y1 uh, sorry v1 which is uh, the new edges are v1 w1 v1 w2 up to v1 W Q minus one, and in this way we get a new tree which is uh, denoted as T star. So now we ha have two trees. One is origin one T, and the other one transform, which is represented by T dash. This phenomena or this transformation is shown in uh, the figure below. So we discuss graphically. Uh, this transformation so this is our t we can see that uh, the degree of uh, v1 is i degree of v2 is j degree of v3 is k which is representing the uh, tree t now we transform into t dash how we transform we remove these vertices and convert these vertices to v1 which is mentioned in t dash so this is our new graph now we will apply the definition of second degree index on t and t dash and then compare the values of both trees which is t and t dash so let's apply the definition 
on the second Zagreb index as we know that the second Zagreb index is defined on the edge set of a graph so we will consider uh, only edges and only those edges who uh, only those edges uh, whose one end degree is changed during the transformation if uh, both ends remain the same we will not discuss because in uh, uh, t and t dash the, the degree on both sides remain same then they will cancel out so we will discuss only those edges where uh, the degree of when and must be changed so let's start by comparing these so first we will discuss uh, if i remove this one so first we will discuss this summation this summation is due to these edges Because there are uh, there are i minus one uh, edges here. I am I am not talking about the edge y v one and v two. So we are talking about i minus one edges. So our uh, variation is from i to r uh, uh, equal one to i minus one degree of u a u is a neighborhood of uh, v one. We don't know the degree of u one, so we will remain uh, we will consider it degree of u a in t and a degree of v1 in t further the next term is due to this one degree of v1 multiplied by degree of v2 the this uh, term is due to this edge the degree of v2 in t and the degree of v3 in uh, t if i denote represent this in different edges so this is due to the, this one And this edge is due to this. And finally, the fourth one, fourth summation is due to these edges. You can see here we have q edge, q edges. I mean, degree of v3 is q, so there will be the summation will be on q minus one degree of w b in t and multiply by the degree of v3 these are our w's so this uh, we uh, apply the definition of second zagreb index on uh, tree t now we apply the definition on t dash okay i try to use different colors to uh, explain you so first again these edges will give this information or this term after that, if I consider these, yes, q minus one is due, will give this term of the summation. And further, if we move, this is by this term, and the last one is, yes, final color, yes, is due to this one. Yes, so this uh, uh, is the definitions of uh, the second Zagreb index for the uh, graph t and t dash one thing uh, further um, for moving to the next slide i want to mention that if we notice that the degree of v1 is i degree of v1 is i degree of v2 is j here is multiplication of course here is multiplication degree of v2 is j and the degree of v3 is q here q I am uh, inserting the values which we which we considered in our uh, previous slide, so, uh, and this this value will be uh, inserted in our next slide. So I am uh, putting these values in this slide just for the explanation. So uh, the degree of uh, v1 in t dash, the degree of v1 in t dash is changed, which is now is i plus q minus one. Here degree of v1 in t dash i plus q minus 1 these are q minus 1 remember the degree of v1 again we have i plus q minus 1 multiplied by degree of v2 in d, d dash you can notice that the degree of v2 in both uh, trees are same so degree of v2 is j because it is unchanged j multiplied by 1 in t dash you notice that uh, you notice uh, that the degree of v3 is now 1 you can say it is a panel word so i just uh, put these values or put all these values in and in our next slide 
would uh, we summarize it it like this I is a constant it is out of uh, outside of the summation q is a constant outside of the summation here we have i plus q minus 1 is again a constant and it is outside the summation so this is the expression which we will get after some simplification and after further simplification we can easily notice that this is whole expression is less than zero if this is less than uh, zero then we can see that the second zagreb index of t is less than the second zagreb index of t dash t dash is a newly transformed tree and in starting we uh, suppose that we assume that t has the maximum uh, second zagreb index which is a uh, and our calculation it contradicts the fact that t has the maximum second zagreb index because t is not a tree so from this we can conclude that only the star graph gives the maximum value of the second zagreb index so this was the technique uh, which you can use to find extremal values for uh, some classes of graph of course there are many other techniques but main uh, technique is here to compare or transform the graphs so we have uh, upper bounds upper bound here on the second zagreb index uh, by combining our previous lecture and this lecture we have our main result which will give the maximum and the minimum value I mean let Tn be the set of all trees on n vertices then the maximum value is equal to n minus 1 whole square and the minimum value is 4 into n minus 2 of course as we discussed in previous lecture the minimum achieved when our tree is a path and maximum is achieved when our tree is a star graph on n vertices so this is the extremal graph which will give our which will give the minimum and the maximum values next we have some exercises yes yeah, some exercise find the uh, from the set t and investigate the uh, maximum first zagreb index and the maximum hyper zagreb index and some connectivity in indices so by combining uh, the previous exercise and uh, this exercise you are uh, you need to find the extremal graph which will give the minimum and the maximum values for the first zagreb index hyper zagreb index and the some connectivity index and you must try this exercise and if you have some uh, difficulty you can discuss me in class and all this uh, lecture is uh, taken from this reference thus Gertman some properties of the second zagreb index matchcom is the name of the journal 52 is the volume and is published in 2004